What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Kicks for Fresh. Now if you're new here, you can call me K-Fresh. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a detailed review featuring the Blazer 77 Low Coconut Milk. Now before we get off into the logistics of this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Cause on my channel, I do sneaker reviews, I do clothing hauls, and I hit you with them how to style. So if that is something that you're interested in, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Now that we got that all out of the way, let's talk about this sneaker. So first and foremost, this is a sneaker that I picked up for my husband, but I wanted to do a review because I really actually love this particular sneaker. I don't have any blazer lows in my collection, so I figured let me show this off to the people that watch my channel, and maybe this will be a sneaker that you may be interested in. I am going to try, fingers crossed, to get my husband to do an on fee so that you can actually see what this sneaker looks like. So first and foremost, like I said, it's the Blazer Low 77 Premium, and the official color code is Coconut Milk Multicolor and Sale. The suggested retail price on these bad boys is 100 bucks, and this is a U.S. size men's, 11 and a half women's. It comes in an orange box that is, you know, pretty standard when it comes to a Nike blazer so i think it's a really cool box though i do have a couple of blazer highs so when you actually open up the box you just get some regular tissue paper but i really just want to get right on into the particular sneaker so like always we start out with that outer sole this is what i would consider a sale outer sole um very standard you know really nothing too crazy in terms of the bottom of the sneaker but when you get to this outer part of the sneaker, this is where the magic happens, y'all. So as you can see, this is a hairy, hairy, hairy material. I believe this is probably a suede material. Um, you do get a green Nike swoosh right here on the panels around the toe box. You do get kind of a, I don't know, like a vanilla. I don't even know how to say, you know, what this is. It is some kind of brown situation, mixed materials. You do get the, uh, you know, cell. It kind of looks gray. Sometimes it's probably picking it up on the camera as gray. This back tab where you do have the Nike, this is like a burnt orange type situation color. And I think that's really nice. And then on the inside of the actual sneaker, this is actually like a dark brown Nike swish. So you do get two different Nike swishes. And then when you actually unlace these bad boys, I really want to talk about the laces, y'all. So first and foremost, this is a bungee lace. So I'm hoping you all can see this on camera, but this is a bungee cord type lace. I just think that's just different. You know, this is really cool. Um, you're not used to seeing that. And then the green tips on the laces, um, which I think are really cool and complement the sneaker. When you do unlace these sneakers, you do get a different tongue um, than the actual colors of the actual sneaker. So you do get an exposed foam tongue. It does say Nike and Swish right here on the top. Um, this is where the exposed part of the sneaker is. On the inside, you do get the Nike and the Swish and it is in green. So that is a really nice color green. I do think it matches the, um, you know, the label up here. On the inside around the ankle collar is a leather. So I think that that is a really nice touch. Probably makes it a little bit more comfortable. I'm not really sure. Don't have very many sneakers that have like the leather interior, but I think that these are pretty nice. So um, just to talk about sizing really quickly, if you are interested in picking up these sneakers, you can get them from Nike.com, which is where I purchased the sneaker. Um, you know, hopefully they do have some in stock, but these were really easy for us to cop. But in terms of sizing, this is a true to size sneaker, I believe. It does fit a little bit narrow. I do have a couple of highs and um, I have a wide foot, so you just have to be okay with it fitting narrow. Doesn't mean that it won't fit, but it does have a narrow foot. So if you have like a fallen arch or anything like that, these particular sneakers will not necessarily be very comfortable for you, but they do fit true to size. So before we go ahead and try to beg my husband to do this on feet review, and if he doesn't do it, y'all, I'm sorry. But one of the things that I noticed about this sneaker is on the outside portion of the shoe, it's not as hairy as the inside part of the shoe. So I know you can see how hairy this material is, but it is a lot smoother on this side. So I just wanted to show y'all that because I thought that was interesting that they did that to the actual shoe. 
Um, but you know, I am not mad when it comes to this sneaker. So now that I've given you all a review, let me know what you think about this sneaker down in the comment section below. Is this a sneaker that you're checking for? Do you wear blazers, highs, lows, mids, whatever y'all be wearing out here in these streets? I think this is a nice sneaker. My husband is not into sneakers like I am, so this was just something that he really liked on the Nike app, and I went ahead and copped it for him. Uh, but leave your comments down below. I'm gonna give you a 360 view of this sneaker so that you can just get another final look at these bad boys. All right, y'all, so I hope that you liked that on feed review. Please do not butcher my husband down in the comment section because he is not, you know, true to this. He is new to this, but um, I really appreciate him for doing that for us. So that is all I have for you all today. Please let me know if you like this video and want to see more, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. I am on my way to three K, y'all. And then hit the subscribe button. Check out some of the other content on my page i do have the cool gray 11 already up on the channel so if you want to see that prior to release date which is december 11th on sneakers and all your other secondary retail markets please make sure to go look at that video but i am your girl k fresh and until next time you already know what to do stay fresh